guys. I was just watching uh, Stephen Furtick's uh, edition of The Basin for this week. The Basin is like his devotional uh, thing for this week. Or like that he started a few months ago. Anyway, he's talking about this whole thing. But he said a phrase and something just jumped into my spirit that I had to share with you. Um, uh, he was talking about, um, prioritizing and whatever, and, um, he, he said something about putting God first, and, um, the Lord said to me, we often hear in Christendom, put God first, put God first, put God first in all that you do. But the Lord said to me, it's not first, it's through. And I said, what? When Pastor Furtick was talking, the Lord said, it's not first. I don't want to come first. And then family and then whatever. He said, I want to be through. I want to be through everything in a person's life, to, the, to how they raise their kids, how they, you know, run their business, how they walk in their daily life. He says, I don't want to be first, like it's first God, first family, second work, third. He's like, no, I don't want to be first, I want to be through. He said, it's like a river. He's like, I want to be like a river and run through. I want to touch every aspect of your life. So, if you spend time putting God first and asking him first what you should do, um, that's like a line. Uh, that's like, okay, God, I asked you first, so now I'll do it. I'll, I'll check with my family second and then do the church third. He's like, no. But when I'm through, when I'm, th when the Holy Spirit is through your life, he flows in every aspect. And every decision that you make, he just, not the first thing you think about, it's the through thing you think about. So I think I'm going to call this mini, mini treat um, thing, because that's what the Lord wants to be in a person's life. He doesn't want to be first, second, third, or, or, or something. He doesn't want you to ask him first, and then you go and ask your family, or, or you go for guidance. He wants to be the through thing in your life. To run in every aspect of your life, from your single life, married life, relational life, um, church life, work life, whatever. So if he's through, he can, he can control every aspect of your life. We always say that God is in control, but I don't think we even know what that means. I think we think that, oh, we just, we just pray and he, he takes the wheel. No, he wants to be in your life. He wants to be a group thing. I was going to call it uh, not first, but through. I'm going to call it the... the through thing, which is going to be an awesome, and I can I can sense that he that he totally wants to be the through thing in this world. He wants to be the through thing in your life. He doesn't want to just be first in your life and then and then you go down the list and then no no, he wants to touch every area. Showing me, it's like a river, and the Holy Spirit wants to flow through every aspect of your life. He wants to be the the waves in in your life. He wants to be the lake in your life, and he touches every aspect. 
of your life. And that's how your how your life will flow easily but better. But e so even when hard times come, when the Lord is flowing through your life, he will give you strategies to make it more bearable to through hard things. But in those hard things, he doesn't want to be want, want to be the one you just come to in Lord help. He wants to run through your life. But uh, having the Lord what runs through your life, it takes courage. It takes courage, it takes relationship. And he wants a real relationship with you. Um, and they just to come in, in your life and, and uh, control it. He wants that too, because he wants to lovingly help you through dictator and he wants to control you. When you give the Lord control of your life, it's gentle. He, he takes over, but he knows you and he knows how to take over. And he really wants to be the through thing in your life. And, uh, and he's really desperate to be the, the through thing. And I'm just, it's just wonderful what the Lord is at doing, what he's about to do. And I love this concept of uh, him being the through thing in our lives. How he wants to be like a river and flow through every aspect of, of our lives. He wants to hit every aspect of, of our lives. He wants to abide in our parenting, in our children. For us single people, he wants to abide in our dating lives. He wants to be Lord of all of that. He doesn't want to come first in our lives. He wants to come through our lives and stay there. Not to just come through and pass, but coming through and staying there and being being king of all our lives. I'll compartmentalize and he just doesn't want us to compartmentalize. He wants us to know that he is concerned about he's concerned about our marriage. He's concerned about our singleness. He's concerned about our lack of friends. He's concerned about he's concerned about every aspect of our lives. He's concerned about whether we'll get this project done. And he he knows strategies. He knows the strategies to help us. So he wants to be um, the through thing in our lives. He wants to be thing, the thing running through every aspect. And I'm just so grateful for this. Uh, thank you, Lord, for this revelation. And and Lord, I pray for myself too that you aspect of my life, the, my, every aspect with the attendance, every aspect with my diabetes, um, every aspect in my work life, you know, for the the big things I'm dreaming about, you know, you know. Who I'm looking for right now, you know exactly where I am right now. You know things about me, Father, that I don't even know. So help, help, help me to make you the through thing in my life, the thing that runs through everything in my life, and give me a stronger revelation of you, Father. Amen. Okay, thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye. Let the way look good through.
the way we were to There's so much more to glory Just let the Lord come through Let the way we were through And we were through There's so much more to story just let the Lord come through. Why so, so many of you are struggling is you're putting God first and he wants to come through. When he's first and you've done, and you've done praying about it, you kind of just leave him behind. You're like, I've been told to Lord, now it's time for me to go on my way. But he wants to come through and stay in there. He wants to be in there with you. He just doesn't want you to consult, consult him and then take what he gives you and then run with it. He wants to be through every aspect of your life. He wants to run through through every aspect of your life. And he's saying, the way we go through, let the way we go through, there's so much more to the story, just let the Lord come through, let the way we go through, Bye guys, see you later.